Hey everybody, Anna VSG here um, with a super quick update. Um, I uh, didn't want to skip another week, so um, just coming to you to give me my weight and uh, a couple of shout outs. So I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on March 28th, 2016. It'll be a year on um, next Tuesday. Um, at the time of surgery, I weighed 292 pounds. I uh, did not have a pre-op diet that required me to lose weight, so I did not. Uh, my highest ever weight was 301, recorded by me, and 296 have been recorded by my PCP. Um, I had surgery at UPMC McGee Hospital for Women with Dr. Giselle Hamad in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I am five foot two. Um, so last time, so week 49, I came to you at 198. Um, and the following week I skipped because I was really busy on Friday and there really wasn't anything to tell. My weight uh, basically stayed the same and this week I weighed in yesterday 197.5. That's the weight I'm taking. This morning is a little bit high, but uh, higher, um, but I'm taking the 197.5 because that is the lowest uh, recorded weight for the week. Um, I, um, so that's a half pound gain from two weeks, or half pound loss from two weeks ago, and um, I'm okay with that. Uh, it's a little slow, a lot slower than it has been, and um, that's the way it is. Um, I, I still believe that it's going to take a lot of work on my part to get the weight off, and um, I think I'm, you know, obviously the honeymoon period is, is probably over, and I'm having to do the work myself. I think I am back at the point where I am just somebody who didn't have surgery um, that just needs to exercise and eat right, and I'm okay with that. Um, that's my new normal, and that's okay. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to revert back to the way I was eating before, um, so I've really refocused my head and my relationship with food and understanding that this is my life now and I'm okay with that. Um, and I'm okay with the fact that I'm not going to um, have you know, a regular life of carbs. <laughs> um, but it doesn't mean that I'm never going to do, you know, eat rice or pasta or have a cake because um, that's no fun. Because I turned 45 and, you know, my year, <laughs> 45 is like halfway to 90. Um, so I, I still like to have fun. Yesterday, my birthday was a good example. I've been so strict with my food and yesterday I decided my husband made, um, Reservations to go to Thai to my favorite Thai place, and I'm like, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have rice with my um, curry, and I did. I had a half cup of rice, and um, I also had some of the uh, burnt almond tort that my dad got me, and I had a little bit of chocolate that we bought at the chocolate place next to the Thai place, and um, and I'm here today, and I'm alive. I feel like crap. I had the worst headache uh, this morning, and I'm really bloated, so I definitely see the effect of sugar on my body. So. Um, um, I do treat. I do try to do carb ups um, every week, every two weeks. Uh, but typically, my car those additional carbs that are beyond um, 20, 25 net gram carbs, um, net grams, net carbs, <laughs> are typically coming from um, from vegetables like a um, uh, sweet potato, something like that. Um, so having straight up sugar um, and grain just doesn't work for me. My body doesn't like it. Um, I'm definitely seeing the effect that it does, um, has on my body, and I'm glad not to um, have it again. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of uh, like my new normal. I, I, I kind of, I, I've talked a little bit about um, how my um, relationship with food has really changed, and I feel really good about it, and um, having had, you know, that day where, yesterday where I allowed myself to have a little bit more than I usually do, um, uh, shows me that I'm, I'm happy with the way I'm eating. Um, and it kind of also reminded me that I'm having to create a new normal for myself, you know, and, and being okay with it and, um, knowing that I'm not going to revert back to the way I was eating because that's what got me in trouble in the first place. Sorry, I don't know what that was. I have the windows open, it's really nice, so. Um, so yeah, so I, um, 
I've created a new normal for myself and I'm okay with that and I'm happy with it and um, I don't have any you know those urges to eat bread and pasta and you know pizza with pizza crust and rice um, are, are gone and I'm 100% I'm fine with it so um, and um, I don't know I'm, I'm finding my way through this and I'm able to go out socially and not have any problems adjusting what I'm eating with friends and um, I don't know it's been really good it's I feel like I've, I've discovered um, a new way, way of life and I'm really happy with it um, with that I um, let's see I obviously know that you know my that honeymoon period is over with weight loss and the surgery and I'm kind of treating things as somebody who didn't have surgery I still have a ton of restriction I can only eat so much um, but I I have to do more work. I have to make sure I get to the gym. I have to make sure that I work out on a consistent basis um, to be able to get this weight off, the excess weight. I, I have at the very least another 50 pounds to lose, if not 80. So that's a lot. I've lost 94 and a half um, and I still have a lot to lose, but that all has to come from me. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I still have a lot of this process left and I'm okay with that. Uh, for that reason, I today I, I I went and visited a new gym because I I've been part of Planet Fitness for um, the last couple of years and they're fine. They give me the basics, but um, I always have a hard time um, getting on the free weight section and I need to focus on strength building and that isn't happening there. I don't like the pin. The pin machines. Um, I like to use barbells and dumbbells and um, a couple of the a couple of the machines. But um, so I visited a new gym this morning, and um, they have a much much larger uh, free weight section. They also have TRX, um, which uh, uses your own body weight. Um, they're um, nylon bands that you basically. You can do push-ups, um, pull-ups. Uh, you can do lots of stuff. It's it's actually a really really good workout. I used to do that with my um, old personal trainer. Uh, they also have personal trainers. They have group exercise classes that you know give you a really good workout. They have other. Um, they have small group um, personal training classes, and then they have other um, exercise classes as well. So, um, and I think for like $5 more than what I'm paying now, uh, now at Planet Fitness, I, I can have this and the location is a little bit better. So, um, I actually went to Planet Fitness and I canceled my membership and after I do this video, I think I'll have enough time. Um, I'm going to go down there and sign up for this club and, um, do a quick workout. Um, I usually do my workouts Friday morning, but um, so yeah, so uh, this will help me focus a little bit more on getting the strength training that I really want to get in, and uh, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I wanted to just do a quick shout out and thank Jody, VSG Jody. I know you, you know who she is. She's amazing. Um, she yesterday was my birthday, like I said, and um, she had. She sent me flowers. It was like the cutest thing. It was a, it's a ceramic box, and inside are, are the flowers, and their carnations and several others. And it took me a second, but then I realized that the flowers were in the shape of a dog, <laughs> a puppy. So I put a picture up on Instagram, and um, I just wanted to say thank you to Jody. I absolutely love you to pieces. Um, I. I remember when I first started making videos that I was I, I made that first video and I said I'm not sure this is something I'm going to do and I can't tell you how happy I am that I did do it because I have gained amazing lifelong friendships um, my girls I I adore every single one of you so much and um, I love having you in my life and um, I can't imagine my day to day without you and um, Jody and and the rest of you. You know who you are. Um, I absolutely love you and cherish our friendship. And I can't wait to see everybody in May. <laughs> so, um, so Jody, but thank you so much for such a thoughtful gesture. And um, 
I love it. <laughs> um, also, shout out to Monica from Sleeved After 60. Uh, she had surgery on the 14th, so it's been a, almost two weeks now. Um, I know she posted on Instagram yesterday or the day before uh, that she's, you know, resting a lot, <laughs> a little, you know, doing well, but, you know, still uh, taking it slow. So uh, make sure you stop by her Instagram and wish her well. Um, love you, girl. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy this finally happened, and um, I can't wait to see your progress. And, um, and then everybody else, I... Just wish everybody else well and um, keep on making really healthy choices. Um, keep on getting out there and getting your workouts in. I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to come back on Tuesday for my one year because I'm working from home after my appointment because I have my one year appointment that day too. Um, so I'll make a video and I'm trying to think of things I want to talk about. Um, so if you have any questions for me um, that you're wondering about, um, that you'd like answered. Let's do that. Let's do a, a one-year question uh, Q&A. So if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down below and um, I'll try to answer them on Tuesday. So get them to me by Tuesday morning because my appointment is in the morning and I'll probably do the video like around noontime, something like that. All right. Everybody have a good weekend. Love you all. Bye.